Hi everybody, Cheryl here. I'm doing my mix for East Coast Nail Diva Liz, um, Elizabeth Porter's um, swap, group swap she's doing. Um, it's called um, A Charlie Brown's Christmas. And I'm going to base my mix on his Christmas tree, which um, this is going to be very interesting because I don't know how this is going to turn out because literally these are colors I would not normally use together. And... Um, this is just going to be a lot of fun to watch. So I'm going to, I got two containers here because I'm going to make enough for the swap and then I'm going to probably have some leftover for, um, for to put in my store. So I'm going to start out with, um, and again, I don't know, I'm, I'm very scared how this is going to turn out. Um, this is just the iridescent hexy, small hexy, and I don't know how my lighting is right now. Um. It's kind of overcast here, so I have my big light on, and my camera, I found out, does not like that. So um, I'm going to use this as a base just a little bit, um, and then I'm going to stick. I have two different greens. Um, this is um, emerald and citron. Um, recollections and what I'm gonna do is mix the two together I'm gonna try to open it without spilling it all over myself so I'm gonna put half in this container and half in that container because she let's see this not she the mix is uh, his tree which is half dead and it's got just a little bit of green leaves on it um, and I don't have a lot of brown, so there's actually more green going in here than probably should. But I don't have a lot of brown, so I'm just going to wing it. So, all right, so I'm going to put those two colors together, and I'm going to actually shake it up just to see what it looks like, um, to see if I need to soften it with maybe some white. But we'll see. Oh, that's a pretty color. Made a really pretty color. Um, I'm gonna let's see here. I have a lot of glitter sitting here, and like I said, these are colors I normally would not use, so this is gonna be interesting. And I again, I don't have a lot of browns, so I'm gonna be using um colors that are kind of like brown, I guess. So this one is it's called um orange sorbet. Um, I'm going to dump some of that in there, and, oh, that was too much, but, oh, whatever. So, um, and then I'm going to, this one is the same orange sorbet. Uh, this is the tinsel, and this is for his dead tree. Um, and then, same with this, this is, uh lemon drop tinsel and I'm just going to finish this off and then we have I'm going to use some of these champagne color caviar beads again for the tree tree trunk And then um, I'm going to add some of these Lemon Drop Stars. Um, these are Martha Stewart. Um, yeah, this is going to take forever. Just pour some in there. And now I'm going to add some different greens, which I have plenty of green. <laughs> so that's Limeade. Yeah, it looks like I'll just finish this one off. Um, this is a limeade again. Um, this is the tinsel. And then we have some sour apple tinsel. very iridescent 
So let's see. And then sour apple. Um, this is the, yeah, mylar. And, oh, I'm going to put some of these uh, diamond shape uh, gold, very holographic in there. And this is going to be his tree, too. So I think that's a lot of fun for Christmas to put some diamond shapes in there. So. Let's see here. And I'm also going to put the green olive, what is it, olivine, um, holographic diamonds in here. Now I know, let's see here, I just have a few more things I want to stick in here. Um, and I know he's got the red, the one red, um, oh my brain just stopped. The little um, decoration on the tree, the ornament, he only has one of those hanging on there. Um, and I'm going to use, I think the little apples, little red holographic apples. I don't want to put, oh, this was um, forest caviar beads. Um, I, I don't want to put any other red in here because um, I only put a few of those caviar beads. This is emerald caviar beads, just literally a little spill of that um and then these uh sugar cube stars um i know he also has his little blanket a little blue blanket down by the base um and i was looking to see what i could put in here that's blue that would show up and i really didn't have much of that color the only thing i have here is the glitter unique matte baby blue hex um, I guess I'll show it in that bag. I have this in here, and I don't know. I may have to put quite a bit in there to even get it to show up. But um, these are the the little red. Um, let's focus. The little red apples. I'm going to use this as the ornament. Just I know they're apples, but they're cute as as I get out, and they kind of look like an ornament. I was going to put red dots in there, but I kind of prefer these. They're holographic. I think they're cute. So, um, and throw them on the thing. Um, let's see here. So, let's see here. I am doing a good job of making a mess. My whole house is covered in butterflies, dolphins, hexes, circles, glitters of all shapes and sizes. It's everywhere. <laughs> so, oh, I vacuum and vacuum and vacuum and it's still there. So anyways, I'm getting used to it. But anyway, here's the matte baby blue hex. I'm going to just pour these in. Um, these are kind of iridescent, so they don't really show up very well through this darker stuff um but we'll see what happens again these are colors i normally wouldn't use so i hope i'm not making a mess here but we'll see we'll see what happens um so the blues for his blanket and i'm gonna give it a little bit of a stir and then i'm gonna shake it but actually so far this looks really cool um Oh my goodness, that is really pretty. See, this is what happens when you use colors that you normally wouldn't use. You actually come up with something really cool. Um, and I guess that's what the fun of these swaps are about. You know, they give you characters or themes and you choose what you want to do. And then you're sitting there scratching your head going, will that work? You know, <laughs> so obviously it does so let me shake this a little bit to mix it up a little faster because i am 10 minutes almost in and i don't want to be this far in i tend to 
go long on my videos, but whatever. So let's just give this one final stir. Oh, there's still a lot mixed in the middle that I gotta. This is really actually very pretty. So this is um Charlie Brown's Christmas tree I made for East Coast Nail Divas group swap. Um and no, you can barely see the blue, but I'm sure once you encapsulate it, you'll be able to better. But it's gorgeous mix. And I'm gonna try to focus it. And it's it's very holographic. I love the apples in there. I think it makes it really pop. I'm glad I didn't put any other reds because it would have taken away from the little apple used as an ornament. So there's my mix. Um, I will be sending this out um, probably tomorrow. So you should have it in a few days, Liz. Um, so anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed watching me make my mix. Um, comment down below if you have any questions. Um, I should probably have this available in my store soon, too. Um, so let me get it bagged and shipped out. So anyway, thank you all for watching. Um, have a good one. Love y'all. Bye.